Hey guys, Michael here from youtube.com slash the revival and twitter.com slash blue42richman. In this video, today I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily tether your iPhone, in this case an iPhone 3G, to your laptop so you can connect to the internet using your data connection. Now, I'm using, uh, or rather, I'm using a new application called PDANet, which does cost some money, um, but you can just use the free trial, which is what I'll be demonstrating in this video. Now you may recall I did a similar video to this in the past, but this video is now updated because, again, I'm using PDANet. You won't just be limited to changing some settings in Firefox and getting Firefox to work in a limited capacity. You'll be getting a full browser experience in Firefox as well as any, applica any application on your computer. Any application on your computer will be able to access the internet simply and easily, pretty much as if you were connected to a Wi-Fi hotspot. So. I'm going to just open up PDA Net here. You can download it through Cydia. Again, this has to be jailbroken. Now I'm going to show you what you need to do on the laptop on the laptop side. Right now, I'm just going to disconnect from my current network and I'm going to create another network. It has to you basically you're creating a computer to computer or ad hoc network. So while that creates, you're going to have to exit out of PDA Net and go to your settings. You're going to have to create this ad hoc network similar to how we did it in other in the previous version of this video. Once you connect to that ad hoc network, you need to go back to PDA Net and open it up. At this point, PDA Net will connect to your computer and now you're basically connected. Now, keep in mind you may want to have this plugged in because it is very battery intensive because you're using the 3G radio as well as the Wi-Fi radio. In essence, what PDA Net is doing is creating a Wi-Fi router and your computer is connecting to it. So it has some information here um, that you may want to look at bytes, DNS lookup connections, and your battery. Again, it's very battery intensive. And if you go to the settings, you can purchase a register, support proxy, Wi-Fi router mode, or in Windows if you want to use it via USB, which is really an interesting thing for Windows computers. You can do that. And then you can go ahead and turn PDA PDA Net off right there. Now to keep this application working, you need to either keep this application open and active and then your phone can turn off and you'll still be able to connect or just keep using your phone and you can close out and use different applications but your phone still has to be active. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to open up Safari. This page is already loaded um, but if we reload, it'll load and it'll reload over 3G. We're going to go to my YouTube profile now. This is a little bit intensive, but as you can see here, the bytes are being used because you're trying it's accessing the 3G network. It does take some time, but everything will load soon enough. Here's my new review on the Sennheiser MM50 IP headphones. And as you can see, the bytes are being updated down here as the page is being loaded on your computer. Now this will work again, like I said, with any application. In previous versions of this video, you only could use Firefox, and that's after you set some things up in the preferences. Right out of the box, Safari will work. Any web browser you have will work. Again, this is Mac, Windows, or Linux compatible. You just need to be able to create an ad hoc network. Furthermore, again, like I mentioned, it'll work in any application that needs internet connection, which is really awesome. And pre again, in, in my previous video, you were limited because some things you couldn't do, like you watch Java things or Flash content, for instance. But you can watch YouTube videos and the like. Again, it, it'll probably take a while to load, depending on your connection. Supposedly, well, there you go. You can see it plays and it'll buffer and such. So that's just the quick and easy way to tether your iPhone 3G or, or original iPhone, although Edge will take a long time to load, to any laptop or desktop, although that's not very practical, running Windows, XP, Vista, whatever, Mac OS X, or Linux. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I thank you for watching.